In this lesson, I'm going to cover the next of our cloud models, which is PaaS, Platform as a Service. And as usual, we'll start with the NIST definition. PaaS is the capability provided to the consumer is to deploy onto the cloud infrastructure consumer created or acquired applications created using programming languages libraries, services, and tools supported by the provider. The consumer does not manage or control the underlying cloud infrastructure, including network, servers, operating systems, or storage, but has control over the deployed applications and possibly configuration settings for the application hosting environment. So looking at how this maps to our data center stack again, with PaaS, the provider is going to provide all of the underlying hardware infrastructure and the underlying operating system and then the provider will provide a custom environment which is used for building applications and that is the level that the customer gets in at so the customer is going to be managing the applications that they build and any data on top of that the point of paas is to make it quicker for customers to be able to get their applications into deployment because we don't have to worry about building out the underlying infrastructure and supporting that they can just get straight into this custom environment where they can quickly build their applications also with this custom environment it will have various plugins there that make it easier to build the applications so for example say the customer is building an e-commerce application there will be modules in the PAS environment for things like adding a shopping cart or adding live chat that kind of things so the developer is able to just pull that straight in without having to do all the coding themselves from scratch so it makes it very quick very convenient and very cost effective the popular PAS providers we've got AWS have got Elastic Beanstalk Microsoft Azure provides both IAAS and PAAS Google Apps is another example Salesforce Force.com and IBM Bluemix with Salesforce Salesforce have traditionally been a software as a service provider but they've also moved into the PAAS space as well now with Force.com for billing for platform as a service it will typically be billed based on memory usage let's have a look at the ibm bluemix pricing structure for an example so i'm here on the bluemix pricing page if i scroll down a little you see that there is a free trial available where you get up to two gigs worth of runtime and container memory or you can go with the pay-as-you-go plan you only pay for what you use with that you get half a gig of free runtime and container memory there's also various subscription plans as well so that's how the pricing works let's have a quick look at how it actually works as well for using this now to be honest with you i'm a data center engineer by trade so i know compute i know server virtualization i know networking i know storage i can talk about those subjects all day but i'm really not an application developer so i'm just going to give you a, a quick overview of this i've already signed up for the bluemix trial so i'll click on the login button here and because i'd already entered my credentials it's taking me straight to the create space pop-up I've already added my organization as Flatbox. It's telling me I don't have a space in the US region. So it's asking me to enter a name here. I'll call it Flatbox Demo and click on Create. Then I get the option to create an app. I'll click on that. I'll choose a Cloud Foundry app. And you see I get a choice of loads of different programming languages so I can use Java, Node.js, Python, etc. If I went to the containers page underneath there you'll see that Docker is also supported. If I go to Watson you'll see some of the services that I can pull in. For example I could pull in text to speech or vice versa speech to text. I can also do personality insights there. Thanks very much for watching. If you found this video useful, 
then you can click the link above my head now to get access to my complete introduction to cloud course that's all for free and also please subscribe so that you can get my latest tutorials